Hi guys, Dean on Under Man from MigrateiPhone.com here and uh, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I'm here to tell you all about an application review. This time it comes from Cydia and it's in the form of an application called Backboard. Now, Backboard is free from the Mod My Eye repo and basically what it is, it's a theme management tool. You, it doesn't replace Winterboard um, because Winterboard is what you need to run themes but what it does it holds all the information about how you've set up your theme and basically it will import that so you if you had an iNav theme which is quite a complicated theme for example it would save all that detail if you change to a different theme and when you wanted to load it back on it would show you it there and then straight away so let me show you the application just quickly so here it is and this is it just here guys it's a little uh, application and it's called Backboard. So I'm going to open that up, and as you can see there, it opens up. And I've got two themes installed at the moment. I've got a standard iOS theme and the unique HD theme. And um, so I'll show you what it's all about. So as you can see at the moment, I'm running unique HD theme here, and I'm also running Lock Info, as you can see. So like I said, that's the theme I'm running at the moment. But if I went back into Backboard and loaded it up. And I picked, for example, iOS 4, which is the standard iOS 4 theme with all the standard features. If I just load that and click Install and click Confirm, it's going to take a couple of minutes to work. As you can see there, it says Working, so it's just pulling all that information back through. And what it's going to do then, right, so it's loaded the information and it's going to ask me to respring. So let's give that a respring as well. So it'll take just a couple of seconds to respring and as you can see my phone's rebooted, it's resprung and I'm on the lock screen now. As you can see lock info is not working. Just slide that across there. As you can see I've got my standard and all the applications because I haven't moved these about as of yet are just in the places where I left them. So I could switch quite back quite easily by going into backboard again and pick in the unique HD theme and as you can see each one of these themes uh, does have a little preview sample if I went back you can see the standard iOS and the unique HD it shows you a little sample of that so I'm just going to un load unique HD again now I am going to show you how you do need to get those preview panels working guys and um, because it's not just as simple as loading it on so we'll just wait for this to respring again just give this a couple of seconds again guys okay so you can see my phone's resprung lock info's back up again and also swipe to SSH swipe to unlock sorry and there you go now because once I last updated this I had this little icon wasn't there last time and then I'm just going to move it into my web applications folder. Okay, so that's how I left it. Now guys, what you can do is if you install a new theme, for example, um, or you've already got a theme, I should say, you can update it. So if you move things around or you want to turn off certain settings, like lock info, like graverboard, um, like uh, the way you use some of your activator settings, you can do that. And then you can update it if you want to change it by just clicking the update button and confirm. And then again, it'll ask you if you want to respring. The next time I load the unique HD theme, it won't put that little application back on the springboard it will put it in my web applications folder so great little features there it remembers exactly how you keep your springboard so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load a theme through winterboard itself as you can see winterboard is there and I'll load air HD theme which is a really nice theme guys and um, we'll just give that a respring And we'll just wait from the phone. It's now resprung. As you can see, lock info is still there. Slide to unlock, and there it is. Air HD. 
So we're going to make a couple of moves to this theme. So we're going to switch, for example, and um, we're going to put ping chat just here. And because I'm using um, gridlock, I can make blank icons without using eye blanks. I'm just going to put that there. And now I'm going to save this theme the way I've set it up in Backboard. Um, so we'll go into Backboard, just there. And as you can see, my two themes there. And we're just going to click the little plus arrow here. And it'll ask me um, the name of my theme I want to call it. So I'm going to call it Air, all in capitals, underscore, then also H. D in capitals, click create, and as you can see, it says Air HD is being created. Now, if you can see there, guys, it's got it there, but you haven't actually got a preview, it says no preview, and it just gives you the normal um, OSX background and um, screensaver. So, I want to show you how to put that on, but as you can see, it's still running the Air HD theme, so we're just going to switch back. To unique HD just so I can show you that even though I did move those um, icons around and created a couple of blank spaces unique HD is actually going to put those back because that's the way I saved it last time so as you can see guys by me showing you it remembers all your settings from whichever theme that you pull in whether like I said you're using lock info or you've put certain icons in certain spaces it's an absolutely great little function there Okay, so my phone once again is resprung, and I've got the swipe to unlock and lock infos back on my home screen. Okay, so you can see my icons are back in the normal place. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is show you how to access that preview panel and input your um, icon so it shows a preview as well. Okay, guys, so I'm now SSH into my phone, and we're going to navigate through to the backboard application folder in my phone so it's hidden in the private ver folder once that's loaded you need to scroll down and go to the stash folder and then it's in the applications.pwm folder and then you can see it just here backboard app okay so as you can see, it's also got Air HD. But what you need to do when you're installing these preview panels, guys, is you need to make sure that you actually delete um, the one that's there, because that's the default one. So you need to delete it. So that's gone now. And then you need to make your other icon, which I've got here, Air HD. You need to make sure that's 100 by 100 pixels, guys. Um, if not, it won't look right when you're trying to open it up on your phone. Um, I generally just use one application icon when I'm using mine so you can just see what the app, what each uh, icon is going to look like. So it needs to be named exactly the same as what you've named your theme on your phone. So as you can see here it's got air underscore HD all in capital letters and they need to be PNG files. So I'm just going to drag that and dump it onto my phone. It's going to ask me if I want to write it. I'm going to click OK. That's all done there. And then I'm going to disconnect. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is switch back over um, to the phone and show you what it's going to look like now. Okay, guys, so what we've done now is we SSH'd in and we um, added that uh, Air HD PNG file into the Backboard application. So if we launch Backboard now, And as you can see, Air HD is here, and instead of showing no preview now, it's actually got a little icon um, of what it's got a preview of what the icons look like. So that is the only little thing that you need to get around. You do need to be able to SSH into your phone. You do need to remember though, guys, that you can't just overwrite um, the folder that's there, or all your themes from then on will be the standard um, profile um, no preview picture. You need to delete what's there in the first place and then put it in with exactly the same name so uh, like I said guys this has been Backboard it's been reviewed by Migrate iPhone and it's free on the Mod My Eye repo from Sidia um, I've been Dean on Underman thanks very much for watching